So today I'm really excited to share with you something that I cannot believe I have not really spoken about before and I have hundreds of videos online. But before we get into that, just in case you don't know who I am, my name is Rob Moore, award-winning author, leadership expert, and founder of therobmoore.com. And I help people show up, step out, and shine no matter where they are or what they do to create more leaders in the world. And my mission is to inspire, motivate, and empower millions of people just like you to amplify their performance and reach their full potential no matter where they are or what they do to create more leaders who shine in the world. And I want to welcome you back to my Words of Wisdom series. This is episode number 25. And yes, it has been a minute since I shot my last video, which was on the upside. You know, it was just all about upside. Look, the importance of looking at the upside of everything that's going on in your life, especially the things that appear to be bad. So, you know, if you have any types of challenges or you're not moving as fast as you would like to be moving or you see a lot of like obstacles coming up in your life, you know, that's a great video for you to watch. I encourage you to go back and watch that as soon as this video is done. I, I think it's a powerful video. I think you'll get a lot of value from it and it'll definitely help you out. So what are we going to talk about today? What is what is this thing that I'm so excited to, to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about the subject of confidence. And, you know, I'm so blessed and so grateful that my man Hugh Bullock, you know, reached out to me through email not too long ago to request that I talk about this. You see, Hugh has been on my email list for quite a few years now. And uh, he just wanted to take some extra time to reach out and let me know that, you know, the, the, the emails that he has been receiving from me, you know, he's been getting a lot of value from them and that they're really helping him. So since he took that extra time, you know, to go out of his way to let me know that, you know, I wanted to return the favor by letting him know, you know, I was like, you, you know, you, if you ever have any questions about anything or there's anything that you want me to like specifically talk about, you know, I'll create a video and send you the link, you know, so that not only will your questions be answered, you'll, you know, you'll get to hear information about things that you really want to hear about, you know, you'll be able to watch these videos over and over and over again. You know, so that's that's how this video came to be. So Hugh, I really appreciate you, you know, sending me that email and requesting me to talk about this today. You know, Hugh is a, a great guy. You know, he's a phenomenal guy. You know, the way me and Hugh know each other is, you know, we used to work at Price Chopper together. You know, a few years ago, we didn't really get to work directly together because we were in two different areas. You know, I was I was more downstate. He was more upstate. But uh, I got to connect with Hugh on several occasions through phone and especially a lot of training, you know, classes that we went to together together and, and some meetings that we attended together. You know, great guy, great heart, you know, definitely the type of person that you want to be connected with. You know, just a great guy you know, all together. So Hugh, you know, thanks again. Really appreciate you taking the time, you know, to request this video being made. So confidence, <laughs> you know, I'm still, still shocked that I didn't shoot a video on this. And the, and the reason why I say that is because, you know, I believe that confidence is what really changed my whole entire life. You know, I, I really think that's like how I really like had my first major success in my life. And the reason I say that is because, you know, from the day I was born all the way up until I was in like 11th grade, maybe even some of 12th grade, you know, I had a I had no confidence. I had no confidence. I had a very if I did have any confidence, it was a very low level of confidence. And, and because of that, you know, I really missed out on a, on a lot of opportunities and, and I didn't really do as well as I could have done. 
you know, I ended up graduating from high school. If you don't know my story, I don't want to go into it really deep because I don't want this video to go on for hours and hours. But, uh, you know, I ended up graduating from high school with like absolutely no plan, absolutely no idea what I was going to do with my life. You know, so I ended up wasting like a whole year just messing around and playing around and wasting time until I finally, you know, figured out that I got to figure this thing out and get my life on track because I could really have some type of future. And, you know, I was very blessed that, you know, like as soon as I got out of high school, you know, I ended up getting a part time job, you know, at Price Chopper as a seafood clerk. And, you know, I never really looked at that position as you know I didn't even like I didn't even go there like to apply for seafood like I went there to apply as a cashier because before I was working there I was working at Bradley's and I was working at Bradley's I worked for Bradley's probably like a year or some change the company wasn't doing well they laid me off at a time you know I got laid off for several months you know I love being a cashier there and they called me back to come back to work I came back to work um, I didn't even get to do cashiering anymore, which I actually loved doing at that time. They ended up sticking me in a department, so I was in charge of a whole department, and I absolutely hated it. I did not like it at all. And not only that, they weren't paying me anything. I was only making four dollars and twenty-five. I started there at like four fifteen or four twenty-five, and after being here like a whole year, I only got like a ten cent raise. And like I knew at Price Chopper, you know, they were starting people off at $5. So I was like, man, I better go over here to Price Chopper as a cashier. They're definitely doing a lot more business. It's definitely not going to be a boring job. My day is definitely going to go fast. And they're going to pay me five bucks, man. I'm going to Price Chopper. So I ended up going there, applying as a cashier. But then, you know, I ended up getting a call. And, you know, a gentleman, a real cool gentleman, you know, um, I talk about him a little bit in my book, but um, he ended up asking me if I wanted to work in seafood. I was like, hey, why not? I just want to, I just don't want to work at Bradley's anymore. You know, I just want to, you know, make more money, work more hours and actually do something that I enjoy. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, at first I started off just working there as, you know, a way to make, at first I was just there just to make more money so I can have money to actually go out and, you know, have fun with my friends and, and party and just enjoy life. And then, you know, as I started to get my head screwed on right and started to really look at my future, you know, I ended up going back to community, going, going, not going back, but I ended up going to college. Unfortunately, it was just community college. So then that job ended up turning into something where it would help me pay for my school. But like as I was working, because I was working other jobs at the same time, as I was working all of these jobs, staying out of trouble, getting completely focused on turning my life around and getting it on some type of path to ha towards having some type of fulfilling career, you know, I noticed that there, that there was a faster way because I started to recognize that there was opportunity at Price Shopper because I was seeing people that had been there for a few years and I've seen people that even like started after me, you know, started moving up, getting promotions and all of this stuff. So I saw opportunity and I was like, man, this is a good way that I can shortcut this whole college thing. Cause I still didn't really even know what I wanted to do. Shortcut this whole college thing and really start making some serious money and, and build a real future with a real career sooner than later. So when I made that decision that I was going to move in that direction, you know, my, my confidence you know, as I look back today, my confidence is what really made the difference. Because when I was in high school, like on a scale from one to 10, my confidence level was probably at a negative five, maybe even a negative 10. But when I got really serious about doing something with my life and then seeing a, a very good opportunity come my way, that I really, really wanted and I knew could change my life completely for like a 360 degrees, my confidence level shift 
immediately. Not a few days later, not a week later, a month. My confidence level changed immediately. Like on a scale from 1 to 10, my confidence level was probably like a 12 to 15. Like it was, it changed overnight because I saw people getting promotions and moving up in the company that I knew I was a, I was a better performer than them. I knew I could do more than them. I knew I could do more work than them. So I'm like, all right, if they're on a really good path to success, I know I can do more and I can surpass that. So my whole mind shifted completely, completely. And like, I did not care what people thought. I didn't care what people said. I didn't even take the time to, to entertain anybody's ideas. My, my confidence level shifted. Now, how did my confidence shift? Well, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But to make a long story short, I'm gonna come back to this, but I wanna just fast forward a little bit. You know, my confidence level, it increased overnight very quickly and it, and it continued to increase and because of my confidence, because of the confidence level that I had, I, I ended up going from a part-time seafood clerk to the level of store manager. And not only hitting the level of store manager, I ended up running one of the top five stores in the entire chain. The number five store in the entire chain. And at the time there was 120 stores. And that store I was running was doing a million dollars a week in revenue. Not only that, I was a very young black man. I'm talking like late 20s, early 30s, and African American. You just, that's just like, like that idea, like that doesn't even really make sense. It doesn't even make sense. But the only reason why I was able to go from having nothing and making nothing was because I raised my level of confidence at a very high level very, very quickly. And because of that, it completely changed my life and I ended up doing extraordinary, unimaginable, extraordinary, doesn't even make sense type of things. And it was all because of confidence. Now, if you look at, like if you were to study some of the most successful people in the world, you would recognize this. And probably now that you're watching this video, if you were to start studying some successful people, you will start to recognize this now. Like if you look at like Floyd Mayweather, for example, like I want you to pay attention to how he talks, how he speaks, what he says. And it's that level of confidence that he has, which has let, had, which has allowed him to achieve the the extraordinary, ridiculous amounts of success that he has. It's 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 all about the confidence. I mean, it's not everything, but that's where it starts. Because without the confidence, you're not gonna do anything big, anything crazy, anything extraordinary. You're not going to really be able to, you know, really break out of the bubble if you don't have confidence. But that's really what it did for me. Now, how did I do that? How do you become a more confident person? How do you raise your level of confidence? Well, the, the way I did it, I was not aware of. But today I am very aware of it now. And now that I am aware of it, I'm able to utilize it more, even more to my advantage today, more than anything to get the things that I want in life. But this is what I did. Like when I told you I shifted my level of confidence very quickly, when I saw opportunity, I was hungry, but not only was I hungry, I started to look at my life completely differently. You see, I, I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but what I was using was a technique called visualization. And how I used it was I started to see my life differently. 
I started to see myself in a in a better position. I started to see myself with a better career. I started to see myself doing extraordinary things. I started to think differently. I started to feel differently. I started to act differently. I started to think like a confident person. I started to feel like a more confident person. I started to act more like a confident person. Like if you were like really like back, way back those years ago where, you know, like when I first started at Price Chopper to when I went to my first management, you know, if you were really paying attention, you could probably see a major shift in my entire personality because I saw opportunity and I wanted it so bad and I was so hungry for it. I was willing to do whatever I needed to do. I didn't care what it was. I would do it. Whatever needed to be done, I will do. And that's what I did to achieve the results that I did. Now, I don't have the book close to me. I don't want to walk away from the camera to go get it. But there's a very powerful book that I recommend that you pick up today and start reading. Um, this, this book is by Maxwell Maltz. Um, you spell Maltz, M A L. M-A-L-T-Z, Maxwell Maltz. He wrote a, wrote a book by the name of Psycho-Cybernetics. Very small book, very powerful. But if you're really, really serious about your success, like I know you are, I recommend skipping that book or maybe even going back to it later and getting a book called The New Psycho-Cybernetics. Now, it's still by Maxwell Maltz, but it's also by a gentleman by the name of Dan Kennedy. You see, Dan Kennedy took um, Maxwell Maltz's work and uh, he really expanded on it and uh, he just really took it to a whole nother level. You know, the book is like 300 pages, but if you're really serious about your success and really um, serious about taking the lid off of your level of confidence, I, I recommend you go get that book right now. Um, I've read that book several times and... Uh, I'll go a little bit into it right now, because I, I, I just a little bit, because I don't want this video to be too long. But I really want you to understand this, you know. Uh, like I wasn't aware of it back then, but I am now. But what that book re is really about, you know, it, it's it's about the subconscious mind. It's about working with the subconscious mind and reprogramming the subconscious mind to get the results that you want in life deliberately deliberately <laughs> deliberate let me see how do you deliberate deliberately something like that damn i butchered that word but i'm not going to edit it on purpose getting the results that you want in life on purpose <laughs> okay so if you don't know anything about the mind this is extremely important i'm just going to try to break it down for you real simple i'm going to shoot a video where i break this whole thing down in uh, full detail and I'm, I'm thinking about doing it with the next episode but at the end of the day let's keep it simple you have a mind okay you have a mind and there's two spheres of activity in the mind. You have the conscious mind and you have the subconscious mind. Now the conscious mind controls 5% of your life and the other 95% is controlled by your subconscious mind. Now your conscious mind is the reasoning part of your mind. It's, what, it's the part of your mind that you use to make decisions and to choose things and to reason with. Uh, but it only controls 5%. It's only responsible for 5% of what's going on in your life. Now, your subconscious, that's everything that's going on in your life on complete autopilot. Your heart beats because your subconscious mind is running that process in your body. You're breathing right now. You're breathing without even thinking about it because your subconscious mind is allowing that to happen. You know, there's all types of things going on in your body. You got digestion going on. You got blood running from here to there in your body because, and this is all happening without you even being aware of it because of your subconscious mind. Like right now I'm speaking and I'm creating this video with the, with the conscious part of my mind. I'm thinking about it, but everything that's going on 
that I'm not aware of is being run by my subconscious mind. Now, the, the subconscious mind is so powerful and, it, and it's, it's, it's like our God-like God power and it's so powerful that it, it, it's doing more things than just running our body. It's running our entire life. It's, 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 it is making certain situations happen in your life. It is attracting certain things into your life. It is attracting certain people into your life. It is it's running everything. I don't want to go into it too deep on this video. But if we know that our mind, we have a mind, and 95% of it is being run by our subconscious mind, that's where we need to focus. That's where we need to make sure that's where we need to plant the things that we want. So this video is about confidence. How do you become a more confident person? How do you raise your level of confidence? Well, we have to program that into the subconscious. We have to start off consciously and then if, and, and eventually that will flow down into our subconscious. And once it comes into the subconscious, that's, that becomes who we are. We become a confident person. Now, how do we program the subconscious mind? We have to consciously start to speak like a confident person. We have to consciously start to act like a confident person. We have to consciously think like a confident person. We have to consciously feel like a confident person. And if we do this over and over and over and over and over again every day through practice, through repetition, we get it deeply ingrained into our subconscious mind and then we change and become a different person. I did not know this is what I was doing back then. But now that I know, now I can manipulate things now to go the way that I want them to go. So that's really what it's, you know, if you break it down into simple terms, that's that's what that's how you do it. That's just how you do it. But I still recommend that you go get that book, read that book, read that book. And later on in some of these videos, I'm gonna put you on to some other powerful books. But you know, for this subject right here, that's a great book to really help you understand. But at the end of the day, it's all about the subconscious mind. It's all about putting what you want in there so that you can manipulate your results to get the things that you want. That's what it is. So I'm going to cut the video here because I could talk about this stuff for days because I've been studying it so long. I've been utilizing it so much. I've been practicing it so much. I could talk about this stuff for days, weeks, and months without even breathing. But we're going to, we're going to cut this video right here. You know, I just highly recommend you know, that you get on my email list so that you can get every video that I ever created, you know, sent to your mailbox along with other, you know, very valuable pieces of information. All you have to do is go to leaderswhoshine.com, enter your email in there, and then I'm going to send you a preview of my top selling book out of the three that I have so far called Show Up, Step Out, and Shine. And that's pretty much it. Um, so until next time, my name is Rob Moore, reminding you to show up, step out, and shine. Now is your time, so make it shine. Thank you very much, and have a fantastic day. I'll catch you later.